Have you ever wondered what happens when a princess defies centuries of custom and marries for love rather than convention? It is said that love is sweet, but money is sweeter. But in the case of this Malaysian princess, it is entirely different. What happens when you choose an ordinary foreigner over an eligible wealthy man as your lifelong partner and lover? Especially when the chosen one is a Christian. In this video, we explore the compelling story of Princess Amina and Dennis Verbas, a love story that challenges standards, defies expectations, and takes place against the defiance of monarchy and destiny. Can true love overcome monarchy power and religious differences? Just before we begin our journey into love, hit that follow button right now and do not forget to like and subscribe. Now, let's get to it. Tunkutun Amina Maimuna Iskandaria binti Sultan Ibrahim was born on April 8, 1986, into the royal family of Jahar, Malaysia, and quickly rose to prominence in the world of splendor and privilege. She is the second child and only daughter of the current Sultan of Jahar, Sultan Ibrahim ibn Almarhun Sultan Iskandar, and the Premajuri of Jahar, Raja Zarth Sophia binti Almarhum Sultan Idris Shah. Tunku Tun Amina, as she is popularly called, attended Hilltop Kindergarten, Jahar Bahru Shri Utama School, and Jahar Bahru Convent School, one of the best schools with the best teachers in Jahar. The following year, she pursued her A-level studies at Singapore's La Salle College of the Arts and the Australian International School Singapore, earning a higher school certificate. She went ahead to the university, where she studied economics. This could be because she wanted an independent means of controlling her finances. It was not a surprise when, at 21, she founded and launched her own cosmetics brand, Leuven's The Royal Art of Beauty, a luxury brand that connects all women, regardless of age. With her success at this young age, this princess became respected not just by her peers, but also by the royal family and the nation at large. What do you expect, especially when her father is who he is? Sultan Ibrahim is regarded as one of Malaysia's wealthiest individuals, commanding a large empire, spanning real estate, telecommunications, and the lucrative oil and gas business, with an astonishing net worth of $5.7 billion. In a recent success, Sultan Ibrahim was raised to the prestigious post of King of Malaysia, establishing his legacy and bolstering the royal lineage. With an independent streak like hers, Princess Amina became successful in all her endeavors, except one. It was easy to make money, and it was easy to make a name for herself regardless of her royal status. But it was not easy to get the one important thing a woman seeks, which is true love. It did not help that her family wanted her to marry someone of their choosing. And in fact, she was being matched with several eligible candidates. But for her, life was not just about getting the status of being married. She needed something better. She wanted intense love for herself. And if she could not find it, she would rather stay single until it came. And finally, after years of searching, love came to her doorstep but it was not without its complications. It was a normal day for 29-year-old Princess Amina in 2015, as she walked through the streets of Singapore and decided to stop by a Malaysian cafe for a quick snack. This was when it happened, when she met her true love, Dennis. Dennis, a 26-year-old, who also happened to have been the manager of the cafe, as a then had side Amina as she walked into the cafe. Attracted by her beauty and elegance, he volunteered to serve himself. And like fate, the two had a chemistry they had both not expected. Well, you could say just like the movies. Dennis Verbas, a Dutch man born in the scenic hamlet of Lees near Amsterdam, pursued a sports career after college and reached semi-professional status in football. He attended Fioretti College Hillegom in the Netherlands before pursuing mechanical engineering at Aero C. Leiden. Fate eventually brought him to Singapore, where he became a manager of the local football club, Tampanese Rovers. Simultaneously, he took on part-time jobs as a magazine picture model and a manager at the cafe where Princess Amina discovered herself. Two people from different cultures and beliefs, seemingly guided by an instinctive sixth sense, realized they were meant to be together. Unbeknownst to Dennis, 
he had met a born princess whose father ruled a whole nation. The intense relationship between these two lovers was enough to endure their cultural differences and lasted around three years. It was within these years that Dennis later found out that Amina, his sweet Asian girlfriend, was a royal princess after all. And worse, she's related to a strong Muslim ruler. While this posed a problem and would eventually be in the nearest future, Dennis did not exactly mind their differences and in no time popped the question, will you marry me? For our entrepreneur princess, love was all that mattered. After all, she had sacrificed her 20s waiting for this extraordinary love. Meeting the man of her dreams at the age of 29 was a joyful surprise, as well as a reward for her perseverance in her search for true love. Their romance grew, and while they imagined a future together, Amina and Dennis remained faithful in their devotion to one another. But saying I do at the altar does not involve only the couple. Families and friends are involved. And in Amina's case, a whole country and her father's political career was involved too. Sultan Ibrahim, firm in his beliefs, first opposed the union, reluctant to consider his beloved daughter marrying a commoner, particularly one of the European blood, and also a Christian. For three years, Amina pleaded with her father to reconsider, and at last, softened by the plea of his only daughter whom he loved, he conceded to her request but not without his terms. Sultan Ibrahim, ever astute, set a series of restrictions on Dennis, seemingly insurmountable obstacles designed to test his loyalty. Despite the daunting requirements, Dennis vowed to face each difficulty head on, inspired by his unshakable love for Amina. First and foremost, Dennis embraced Islam with an open heart and mind as requested by the Sultan. Second, he accepted his new identity, taking the traditional Malay name Muhammad Abdullah, in honor of his newfound faith and culture. Finally, Dennis readily signed a marriage contract created by the Sultan, agreeing to stipulations that prevented him, Amina, and their future children from rising to the highest levels of authority in Jahar. Dennis Muhammad Abdullah completed an extensive and systematic Islamic study curriculum to learn the faith, according to an official on Tuesday, July the 25th, 2017. According to former State Secretary Ismail Karim, Sultan Ibrahim ibn al marhun Sultan Iskandar is pleased with his future son-in-law's progress in religious studies. Dennis has been given guidance and taught the Islamic faith by a group of ustas from the Jahar Islamic Religious Department since March last year, according to a statement released by Mr. Ismail. Mr. Ismail and his wife Datin Zawiya Muhammad were declared Dennis's adoptive parents the year before, after receiving blessings from Sultan Ibrahim and Jahar per Mysuri Raja Zarid Sophia Sultan Idris Shah. Princess Amina and Dennis Muhammad's marriage was not only legally binding, but also distinguished by deeply personal vows expressed and publicly affirmed in the splendor of one of Malaysia's largest mosques. In a historic demonstration of familial support, Sultan Ibrahim blessed his daughter's marriage, staging a grandiose wedding in Jahar Bahru, the state capital, in late summer 2017. August 14th was chosen specifically since it coincided with the bride's late mother's birthday. The grandeur of the celebration was heightened by the attendance of 1,200 eminent guests who were invited to witness the wedding spectacular. The celebration was a spectacular display of Malay Muslim culture. During the solemn ceremony, Dennis recited a poem he had written, promising a lifetime of devotion to his beloved bride. Dennis handed down a symbolic ransom of 22 local ringgit, equal to $5, to Sultan Ibrahim, as is customary to demonstrate his commitment to cherishing and protecting the princess. Despite the early romance of their love story, Princess Amina and Dennis encountered serious obstacles caused by cultural and mental disparities. The press, in particular, publicized scandalous things that almost tarnished the couple's familial tranquility, implying that Amina ignored her duties as a Muslim wife. 
In the face of such difficulty, Princess Amina vehemently denied these erroneous claims, claiming that their happiness remained unshaken despite the storm of rumors. Indeed, their public appearances at official functions portrayed a picture of joyful contentment, removing any questions about their marital happiness. Three years after their wedding, the couple made the Sultan one of the happiest men in the world when they gave birth to their first child, a beautiful girl, Layla Sophia. Two years later, Princess Amina gave birth to a son, strengthening their family bond even more. Dennis accepts the obligations that come with being the leader of an Islamic home and works hard to provide for his wife and children. He has established himself as a significant player in the real estate development industry, using his abilities to support his growing family. Furthermore, the family has acquired a considerable 30% stake in Berjaya Rail, a major railway firm, contributing to their financial success. The couple's financial stability demonstrates their success and in smart investments. Meanwhile, Sultan Ibrahim's prestige has grown even more. In a surprising turn of events, he was chosen as the King of Malaysia at the end of 2023. As a result, Amina's title has evolved beyond that of a princess, and she is now the daughter of a powerful king. As we get to the end of Princess Amina and Dennis Ferbas' incredible love journey, we can't help but admire their love's resilience in the face of adversity. Will their story usher in a new era of acceptance and push the boundaries of royal unions? Share your opinions in the comments box below, and let's start a discussion about love, tradition, and the ability to shape one's fate. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the story, and check back for more stories of love and courage. Until next time, may your own love story be as vast and enduring as Princess Amina and Dennis.